let's look at the iceberg. On top of the waterline, we have, of course, that dream business model that we need that allows us to stay on the market, to become a sustainable venture. Below the waterline, we have a lot of conversations, conversations with participants in the market. We have to find out what will actually work in our context. That means we have to create very possibly a pilot, a pilot project, a pilot system that we are trying out if that works with the people we are serving and the partners we are having as part of the journey. It's really a trial and, trial and error. Of course, you have all the available resources and ideas in existing business models that you can take and model, but your own context will always be different. So you have to be able to experiment. You have to be able to try out new things. You have to be able to, to be the renegade and yeah, take crazy ideas and see how they resonate with the people you work with. You can go even further than that. You could look into the crowd. A different way of operating. You are not limited to the borders of your organization or to the borders of your target group. You are actually looking for crowd resources and you're building that into the formula that will become your business model. Not for nothing, this stock business model is called the Royal Discipline by me. I've listened and uh, read about countless stories, how long it actually takes to find that magic formula that works for you, for your organization. Of course, we can learn from others, but like I said, it is really crucial that you work with the people that you have daily contact with, that you are serving, that you are supplying solutions for to find that engine that can keep running and keep you in motion as an organization. <laughs>